I am Sense Mukoti. I was born down there by the river when my mother went to pick tree water lily. Then she gave birth while she was down there. That's why I'm very strong. This is the tree where she was staying. The hut was somewhere in there. That's where she was staying. So we go to a new generation. They say it's the 21st century. So everyone wants to be in a brick house like that. But young children, they just found those brick houses. They think we started from that. But our parents used to use their surroundings to do their things. Like this is a tree branch and this is just soil. This is grass all around down there. You can just pick from a, a pole from a tree, you dig mud from the ground, then you go and cut grass. Then it's a home. You don't have to have money to have a home. I am going to give my chicken some water. The community here in the, in the rural areas, areas, they are self-reliant. They keep their cattle, they keep goats, they keep chicken, they make their food, they plow, they make their food and they are very generous. Because we have our things, we have our food, we have everything and we help each other. If I, I run short of something, I just choose which neighbor to go to and then I get that just like that. That's how we live. If those people who are staying there, my neighbors, if they see elephants coming this way, they will clap their hands as to alert me that there's danger coming that way. Elephants come almost every night, sometimes in small groups, sometimes a whole pack. I don't know what happens. Sometimes they are very few, then the other nights just like they are everywhere. So this hut was destroyed by elephants. The other one was that side. That one was destroyed completely. This one, they just picked it up. It, it, they rooted it up. Didn't even report the incident to the wildlife. Why not? Because even if you report, it takes years to, for, even if they, they say they will pay you, it takes maybe two to three years to, for you to be paid. So it's like you just have to do it yourself. And I don't know where to get that grass again. I have to wait for July 15 to start cutting more grass. I didn't even bother to report because they were going to say this is a, an animal corridor. So I just left it like that. This is my land. I have this, a certificate for it. I, have, I applied for it from the land board and I was given the land and given the certificate, but still, even if it's fenced, if they just want to go in, they go in. When I was growing up, these elephants were not this many. They were inside the park. There were some times when they were sold to, to the community and you'll be told which area you should hunt from. Like this one is area two. So they would hunt the animals legally, not illegally as it is happening. I think if you go back to that old practice when they were being sold and the poaching wouldn't be like it is now. The difficult part is the, the water. All of us, we get water down there in, in Lohotwana. Some are very old, like my neighbors, they, they are very old, but they still have to get water from Lohotwana. That tank is connected from Kasani to Parakarungu, so it's water from Kasani. It's just there all the time. It's from a tank. It's a government tank.
I carry a 20 liter bucket from Lohotana on my head. And some of the water I use it to drink, to bath, to, to give to my chickens and my dog. And I water some of my vegetables. I have some tomatoes inside the yard, so I water them. So because I want to live here, I have to live with that. This is a cultural house, as you can see. These are the, house, the houses we used to stay in when we were still young. This is the, the bed made of some poles and the mattress is grass. Here yeah, I just want to make a cultural village. Here I have to stay because I have land in Kasani, there's nothing. I would like people to know what we used to to do, what we used to stay in. We lived in these houses before, but now everyone is in a brick house. So I wanted to show our culture. No one is doing it in Kasani. I was raised in this household. They, they taught me almost everything. I can cut grass, I can move the house, I can do everything, I can pound everything. So I want to do that and to show those young Some generations how we used to be. This is a sieve for liquid things like milk and traditional beer. This is the cup. We use this to drink water. There are these children who have grown just after us. The generation after us, they don't know those things. So maybe they will want to learn. So there must be someone to do that, and it's me. <laughs> Most of the people we like working, like I am working at so and so place, I'm working at there, we don't do it ourselves. Like you see, I'm suffering here, I have to carry water very far there, I have to pay someone to do this, to cut, and to, but I am doing it myself. So people don't want to work. for themselves anyway. They want to work these white collar jobs. But you have to do that if you are educated, much more educated, because most of the educated people are roaming the streets, they don't have work. I don't have a man around, I do everything for myself. But in Setswana, men have to cut, like cutting wood, and have to plow with oxen. Then the ladies have to weed. They have to fetch water, cook, do the washing, and the men will be just going up. They don't have much chores. They keep their cattle and the goats. That's only their choice, keeping cattle and goats and cutting some, you don't cut, the whole year, just cut sometimes. But the ladies, they have much to do. We have to cook at home, to sweep the yard, to wash, to go and fetch water. So there are crocodiles, there are snakes, and there will be only ladies there. No men will be cutting reeds or grass. And again, we have to look, for, to look after the kids but them, feeding them, everything. I heard that there was drought last year, but I didn't experience it. Because my neighbors here, they had, they plowed their fields and I went to help them to harvest. So I got a lot of maize and pumpkins and everything. So about the flood, there's this um, water lily, I don't know. When it fl it's flooding, there's fish, there's water lily, and we have plenty of food even if it floods. Because the, the flood just ends down the road there, it doesn't come up here. Here I am feeling like myself. It's me. I do what I want. I do what I like. I do what I, I grew up doing. 
end in the end i'll earn some something from this true it will not end here and i'll be putting something into our economy also i'll be counted <laughs> with those who who increase the economy because it is said that uh, our diamonds will be running out soon so i'm trying to make a diamond here yeah. My own water is water. If I can get to water, oh wow, I can't go. I can't even go to Kasan. <laughs>